A suicide attack is a violent attack in which the attacker intends to kill other people and or destroy property and expects to die in the process. Suicide attacks have occurred throughout history, often as part of a military campaign such as the Japanese kamikaze pilots of World War II, and more recently as a part of terrorist campaigns, such as September 11 attacks. While there were few if any successful suicide attacks anywhere in the world from the end of World War II until 1980, between 1981 and June 2015, a total of 4,620 suicide attacks occurred in over 40 countries, killing over 45,000 people. During this time the global rate of such attacks grew from an average of three a year in the 1980s, to about one a month in the 1990s, to almost one a week from 2001 to 2003, to approximately one a day from 2003 to 2015. Suicide attacks tend to be more deadly and destructive than other terror attacks because they give their perpetrators the ability to conceal weapons, make last-minute adjustments, and because they dispense with the need for remote or delayed detonation, escape plans or rescue teams. They constituted only 4% of all terrorist attacks around the world over one period, but caused 32% of all terrorism-related deaths. 90% of those attacks occurred in Iraq, Israel, the Palestinian territories, Afghanistan, Pakistan or Sri Lanka. Suicide attacks have been described as a weapon of psychological warfare to instill fear in the target population, a strategy to eliminate or at least drastically diminish areas where the public feels safe, and the fabric of trust that holds societies together. The motivation of suicide attackers themselves varies. Kamikaze acted under military orders motivated by obedience and nationalism. Before 2003, most attacks targeted forces occupying the attacker's homeland, according to analyst Robert Pepe. Anthropologist Scott Hatron states that since 2004 the overwhelming majority of bombers have been motivated by the ideology of Islamist martyrdom. Definitions Terrorism suicide attacks include both suicide terrorism, terrorism often defined as any action intended to cause death or serious bodily harm to civilians or non-combatants for the purpose of intimidation, and suicide attacks not targeting non-combatants. An alternative definition is provided by Jason Burke, a journalist who has lived among Islamic militants and suggests that most define terrorism as the use or threat of serious violence to advance some kind of cause, stressing that terrorism is a tactic. Academic Fred Halliday has written that assigning the descriptor of terrorist or terrorism to the actions of a group is a tactic used by states to deny legitimacy and rights to protest and rebel. Suicide terrorism The definition of suicide is another issue. Suicide terrorism itself has been defined by one source as violent actions perpetrated by people who are aware that the odds they will return alive are close to zero. Other sources exclude from their work suicidal or high-risk attacks, such as the Lod Airport Massacre or reckless charge in battle, focusing only on true suicide attacks where the odds of survival are not close to zero, but require to be zero, because the perpetrator's ensured death is a precondition for the success of his mission. Also excluded from the definition are proxy bombings, which may have political goals and may be designed to look like suicide bombing, but where the proxy is forced to carry a bomb under threat and may be unaware they will be killed, and Suicidal rampage shootings, which are usually thought of as being driven by personal, psychological, not political, social or religious motives. Which type of killing is which may not always be clear to investigators. Suicide attack campaigns sometimes also using proxy bombers or manipulating the vulnerable to be bombers and at least one researcher arguing that the motivation to kill and be killed connects some suicide attackers more closely to suicidal rampage.
murderers than is commonly thought. Usage The usage of the term suicide attack goes back a long ways but suicide bombing dates back to at least 1940 when a New York Times article mentions the term in relation to German tactics. Less than two years later that newspaper referred to a Japanese kamikaze attempt on an American carrier as a suicide bombing. In 1945, the Times of London referred to a kamikaze plane as a suicide bomb, and two years later an article there referred to a new British pilot less radio-controlled rocket missile as originally designed as a countermeasure to the Japanese suicide bomber. Alternative terms sometimes to assign either a more positive or negative connotation to the act. Suicide bombing is referred to by different terms. Istishad Islamist supporters often call a suicide attack Istishad and the suicide attacker Shahid. The idea being that the attacker died in order to testify his faith in God, for example, while waging jihad be safe. The term suicide is never used because Islam has strong strictures against taking one's own life. The terms istishad, martyrdom operation, have been embraced by the Palestinian Authority and by Hamas, al -Aqsa martyrs brigades. Fatah and other Palestinian factions engaging in suicide bombings. Homicide bombing Some efforts have been made to replace the term suicide bombing with homicide bombing. However, since all terror bombing intend to cause human death, the term fails to capture the distinctive feature of suicide bombings, namely, the bomber's use of means which brings about their own deaths. The first to use the term for a wide audience was White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer in April 2002. However, the only major media outlets to use it were Fox News Channel and the New York Post. Genocide bombing Genocide bombing was coined in 2002 by a Jewish member of the Canadian Parliament, Erwin Kotler. In an effort to focus attention on the alleged intention of genocide by militant Palestinians in their calls to wipe Israel off the map, sacrifice bombing in the German-speaking area the term sacrifice bombing was proposed in 2012 by German scholar Arita Takeda. The term is intended to shift the focus away from the suicide of the perpetrators and towards their use as weapons by their commanders. History pre-1980, until the second half of the 20th century most suicide attacks occurred in a military context. The first century AD Jewish Sicarii sect of thought to have carried suicidal attacks against Hellenized Jews they considered immoral collaborators. The Islamic Hashishiyin sect of Ishmael Shia Muslims successfully assassinated two caliphs and many viziers. Sultans and Crusader leaders over the course of 300 years before being annihilated by Mongol invaders. Hashishiyin were known for their targeting of the powerful, their use of the dagger as a weapon, and for making no attempt to escape after completing their killing. India to counter the superior numbers of the Chola dynasty empire's army in the 11th century, suicide squads were raised by the Indian Chera rulers. This helped the Cherists to resist Chola invasion and maintain the independence of their kingdom from the time of Kulodunga Chola I. These warriors were known as the Chavers. Later, these suicide squads rendered service as police, volunteer troop and fighting squads in the region. Now their primary duty was to assist local rulers in battles and skirmishes. The rulers of the state of Aluvanad are known to have deployed a number of suicide squads against the ruler of Calicut, Dutch in the late 17th century. King official Yu Yonghe recorded that injured Dutch soldiers fighting against Coxinger's forces for control of Taiwan in 1661 would use gunpowder to blow up both themselves and their opponents rather than be taken prisoner. However, the Chinese observer may have confused such suicidal tactics with the standard Dutch military practice of undermining and blowing up positions.
recently overrun by the enemy which almost cost Coxinger his life during the siege of Fort Zealandia. ACEH Muslim Asenis from the ACEH Sultanate performed suicide attacks known as Parang Sabil against Dutch invaders during the ACEH war. It was considered as part of personal jihad in the Islamic religion of the Asenis. The Dutch called it Achamord, or the Asenis' work of literature. The Haikaya Barang Zabil provided the background and reasoning for the ACEH Mord, Asenis' suicide attacks upon the Dutch. The Indonesian translations of the Dutch terms are ACEH Bodo or ACEH Hila. Acha Mord was also used against the Japanese by the Asenis during the Japanese occupation of ACEH. The Asenis Ulama fought against both the Dutch and the Japanese, revolting against the Dutch in February 1942 and against Japan in November 1942. The revolt was led by the All ACEH Religious Scholars Association. The Japanese suffered 18 dead in the uprising while they slaughtered up to 100 or over 120 Asenis. The revolt happened in Bayou and was centered around TJOT Pliang Village's religious school. During the revolt, the Japanese troops armed with mortars and machine guns were charged by sword-wielding Asenis under Tenku Abdad Jalil in Bulo Gampong Tunga and TJOT Pliang on 10 and 13 November. On May 1945 the Asenis rebelled again. Moro Juram entered all Moro Muslims who performed suicide attacks were called Mag Sabil, and the suicide attacks were known as Parang Sabil. The Spanish called him Juram entered all. The idea of the Juram entered all was considered part of jihad in the morose Islamic religion. During an attack, a Juram entered all would throw himself at his targets and kill them with bladed weapons such as birongs and kris until he himself was killed. The Moros performed Juram entered all suicide attacks against the Spanish in the Spanish Moro conflict of the 16th to the 19th centuries against the Americans in the Moro Rebellion, and against the Japanese in World War II. The Moro Juram entered us aimed their attacks specifically against their enemies, and not against non-Muslims in general. They launched suicide attacks on the Japanese, Spanish, Americans and Filipinos, but did not attack the non-Muslim Chinese as the Chinese were not considered enemies of the Moro people. The Japanese responded to these suicide attacks by massacring all known family members and relatives of the attacker. According to historian Stefan Dale, the Moro were not the only Muslims who carried out suicide attacks in the fight against Western hegemony and colonial rule in the 18th century. Suicide tactics were used on the Malabar coast of southwestern India, in Acha in northern Sumatra as well. Russia The first suicide bomber was Russian. The invention of dynamite in the 1860s presented revolutionary and terrorist groups in Europe with a weapon nearly 20 times more powerful than gunpowder, but with technical challenges to detonating it in the right place at the right time. One way around that obstacle was to use a human trigger, and this was the technique that assassinated Tsar Alexander II of Russia in 1881. A would-be suicide bomber killed Vyacheslav von Plev, the Russian Minister of the Interior, in St. Petersburg in 1904. Chinese suicide squads during the Xinhe Revolution and the warlord era of the Republic of China, dare to die corps, or suicide squads, were frequently used by Chinese armies. China deployed these suicide units against the Japanese during the Second Sino-Japanese War. In the Xinhai Revolution, many Chinese revolutionaries became martyrs in battle. Dare to Die Student Corps were founded for student revolutionaries wanting to fight against Qing Dynasty rule. Dr. Sun Yat-sen and Huang Xing promoted the Dare to Die Corps. Huang said, We must die, so let us die bravely. Suicide squads were formed by Chinese students going into battle knowing that they would be killed fighting against overwhelming odds. The 72 martyrs of Huang Huagang died in the uprising that began the Wuchang Uprising, and were recognized as heroes and martyrs by the Kuomintang Party and the Republic of China.
The martyrs in the Dare to Die Corps who died in battle wrote letters to family members before heading off to certain death. Bohuang Huakang was built as a monument to the 72 martyrs. The deaths of the revolutionaries helped the establishment of the Republic of China, overthrowing the Qing Dynasty imperial system. Other Dare to Die student corps in the Xinhai Revolution were led by students who later became major military leaders in Republic of China, like Chiang Kai-shek and Huang Xiaozhong with the Muslim Bai Chongxi against Qing Dynasty forces. Dare to Die troops were used by warlords. The Kuomintang used one to put down an insurrection in Canton. Many women joined them in addition to men to achieve martyrdom against China's opponents. Suicide bombing was also used against the Japanese. A Dare to Die Corps was effectively used against Japanese units at the Battle of Taiyuang. A Chinese soldier detonated a grenade vest and killed 20 Japanese soldiers at Sifang Warehouse. Chinese troops strapped explosives like grenade packs or dynamite to their bodies and threw themselves under Japanese tanks to blow them up. This tactic was used during the Battle of Shanghai to stop a Japanese tank column when an attacker exploded himself beneath the lead tank. And at the Battle of Taiyuan where Chinese troops with dynamite and grenades strapped to themselves rushed Japanese tanks and blew themselves up. In one incident obliterating four Japanese tanks with grenade bundles. During the 1946-1950 Communist Revolution, coolies fighting the Communists formed Dare to Die Corps to fight for their organizations, with their lives. During the Tiananmen Square incident of 1989, protesting students also formed Dare to Die Corps to risk their lives defending the protest leaders. Japanese kamikaze kamikaze, a ritual act of self-sacrifice carried out by Japanese pilots of explosive-laden aircraft against Allied warships, occurred on a large scale at the end of World War II. About 3,000 attacks were made and about 50 ships were sunk, but the Japanese still lost the war. Later in the war, as Japan became more desperate, this act became formalized and ritualized. As planes were outfitted with explosives specific to the task of a suicide mission, kamikaze strikes were a weapon of asymmetric war used by the Empire of Japan against United States Navy and Royal Navy aircraft carriers. Although the armored flight deck of the Royal Navy carriers diminished kamikaze effectiveness, the Japanese Navy also used piloted torpedoes called kaiten on suicide missions. Although sometimes called midget submarines, these were modified versions of the unmanned torpedoes of the time and are distinct from the torpedo-firing midget submarines used earlier in the war, which were designed to infiltrate shore defenses and return to a mother ship after firing their torpedoes. Although extremely hazardous, these midget submarine attacks were not technically suicide missions. As the earlier midget submarines had escape hatches, chitons, however, provided no means of escape. Germans during the battle for Berlin the Luftwaffe flew self-sacrifice missions against Soviet bridges over the river Oder. These total missions were flown by pilots of the Leonidas squadron from April 17 to 20, 1945, using any available aircraft the Luftwaffe claimed the squadron had destroyed 17 bridges. However military historian Anthony Beaver when writing about the missions thinks that this was exaggerated and that only the railway bridge at Kustreen was definitely destroyed. He comments that 35 pilots and aircraft was a high price to pay for such a limited and temporary success. The missions were called off when the Soviet ground forces reached the vicinity of the squadron's airbase at Duterbog. Rudolf Christoph Freyer von Gersdorf intended to assassinate Adolf Hitler by suicide bomb in 1943, but was unable to complete the attack. Korean War North Korean tanks were attacked by South Koreans with suicide tactics during the North Korean conquest of the South. American tanks at Seoul were attacked by North Korean suicide squads, who used satchel charges.
North Korean soldier Lee Soo Bok is considered a hero for destroying an American tank with a suicide bomb. Suez Crisis An Arab Christian military officer from Syria, Jules Jamal, allegedly brought down a French ship with a suicide attack during the Suez Crisis in 1956 according to Egyptian media, although both French ships with that name were unharmed during the crisis.